Good morning. Good morning. Are we five five weeks in, three weeks behind? That's right. <laughs> We're going to go into overtime because we are behind <laughs> because we haven't finished shooting because we're way too slow <laughs> tired and excited actually this stuff is going together really really well we're in what was meant to be the last week of production and will be almost the last week of production it's a big crazy complicated scene and we've had i think 40 actors on the call sheet for the last five days it's pretty much as complicated as farscape gets this week and last <laughs> The flooded maintenance bay, I thought was going to be, and it was, very difficult to achieve. But it worked out really well and I've seen it cut together and it looks fantastic. It really was worth the effort of wandering around in that waist deep in water all day. Nobody got electrocuted. That's, it was great. This is one of the happiest times for the sound department when it's raining. In our soundproof studios, the rain. You can't hear a thing. We don't have to cue the bangs anymore, it just happens by God. It was one of those moments this morning where I just went, this is all really too hard. And, and I just had to get it out of my system and I got it out and fortunately only two people were here to see me walking up and in and out of the cutting room every two minutes saying this is all fucked. <laughs> Don't put that in, my mum will kill me. We've moved into that pickled hour where we're in overtime and we missed afternoon tea and without the propulsion of food or the incentive of it, hilarity and insanity ensues. It's all fun and games till someone loses a tentacle. Come on, the penetrator. You too. <laughs> Shit. Kilo after kilo. <laughs> Don't leave me, man. Don't leave me. We've been together. If I kissed you, what's going on? Where am I? Who am I? What am I? Blah, blah. I've come blah, for my blah, alimony. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I think it's actually uh, child support you were looking for, darling. Right, and doing your alimony and child support. They always say on one of these behind the scenes things, if you swear a lot and are obscene, you will definitely be in there. <laughs> Grunschlick Body Parts Incorporated Diagnosis and Penis Extension. That's beautiful. Here you go. <laughs> Donkey penises, elephant penises. Do it. The miracle of space. Look how flat my tummy is. I have the best personal trainer in the world. Sleepies now. It's time to feed. Would you mind? Gone through about 24 cows, 29 pigs, about 38 lamb, 1.1 ton of fish. 1.9 tons of potato, 1.2 tons of rice, about 850 loaves of lunch bread, 800 French sticks, 500 loaves of toast bread, about 120 boxes of eggs, and let's say 70 boxes of tomatoes. <laughs> so far. Are there only three days to go? Is that, are you serious? Don't, don't joke. I'm going to cry. I kept saying, I just want to get home. <laughs> I've been reading it wrong all these years. I just want to go home. Ah, uh, and good morning. On the final day of fasting. How does it feel? How does it feel? Well, it's pretty surreal, I suppose, given that I never anticipated us uh, ever coming back. I wake up every day just crying into my pillow, just wishing that it would last for another million, million years. <laughs> <laughs> like a family, we've, we've experienced everything together with tears, the, the fears, the laughs, the sweat, the stinky prosthetics, the nude scenes, the wax strips that fall off at the wrong places, the modesty strips that were there when we caught action and then aren't there by the end of the role, the, the fingers in the nose up the ears, the pressing of each other's buttons, the ah. Last shot. The show was never easy to do. I don't think anyone who ever did it went, like, was a cakewalk, but uh, I think it was unique. And I'm really, really proud of everything I did and everything that everyone I worked with did. Yeah. 
emotional, all emotional. <laughs> Dago down, took the rubber off for the last time, had a bit of a weep, a bit of a tear, <laughs> a bit of a bond, a bit of a group hug, <laughs> and then went home, watched some telly. <laughs> the fascinating thing is that, you know, our, our set is priceless up to the point it goes on the camera, and then you push it over and put it in a bin. But once it's in that bin, you know, we know we've uh, achieved that job. Is this miniseries going to wrap up everything about Farscape? No frelling way. Farscape will never be the series again. Uh, not with this huge cast, won't come back together again and do a series on an ongoing basis. But clearly the next step is, is features. I'm proud of the fact that we achieved pretty much what we set out to do, which was to make a, uh, an adventurous, innovative, you know, it's a cliche to say boundary pushing, but. I believe we actually did. I'm optimistic always, so I think there will be more with these characters, but you never know. And this could be the closing of a chapter in my life, certainly. So I'm off. I'm out of here, so it's been great. Thanks for the memories. You haven't seen the end of Forest, have you? See you on the telly. <laughs>